What's up Tech Army, how are we doing today? Well, uh, we've got something really special. One of you lucky people out there are going to win an Apple TV. The new Apple TV. And we're gonna be doing it today at the end of this video. So, for all of those that have subscribed and liked and shared my videos, this isn't gonna be the only one by the way, We've got another one coming up, so keep watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell. We've got more surprises coming up for you to say thank you for subscribing and sharing and liking and commenting on all my videos. So what we're talking about today, Stephen? Well, I'll tell you what we're talking about today. Sky Glass. So we're gonna look at Sky Glass. Good friends of mine, Jeremy and Helen. Um, if you watch this, thank you so much. They've allowed me to go to their home and they have a 55 inch um, uh, Sky Glass TV. We're gonna have a look at what differences, if any, picture quality, sound quality, and just the overall look and size. And I believe they've got it on a wall. So, should we go and have a look? Let's do it. So here we are guys so this is sky glass now you're gonna say no it's not steve this is sky stream well believe it or not if you're not familiar with the way sky do things sky glass sky stream are exactly the same just one of them is inputted into this tv uh now the only difference i can find uh since i've been playing with this is because it's in a tv if we just scroll down to settings boom, we now have picture and sound so if i just scroll to the right I've got viewing mode, picture, sound, and reset picture. And when you go into viewing mode, and you go, you've got sport, and then you've got entertainment, you've got vivid, you've got auto, um, you can see the different kind of settings um, that you can scroll to. You can even set a custom mode, and it does all that for you. Um, I'll leave it on sport because I'm at a friend's house who's kindly given me the opportunity to do this video for you guys. So uh, let's go back and go over, and then we've got picture. So we've got auto backlight adjust, so we can switch that on, we can switch that off. Uh, go back. Oops, sorry. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah, go back to picture. So, we've got picture, we've got backlight. We'll switch that back off. Continue. Um, and we've got backlight set to 100, aspect ratio set to auto, bright. So, you can see all the little different kind of settings that you've got here. Perfect. Uh, and you've even got customs, you can configure that if you want to. And then you've got sound and sound here. We've got night mode, so if you're at night and you don't want to make too much of a noise. Um, you've got enhanced speech. If you can't hear what people are saying, you can bring that forward. And these, these glass TVs have got an amazing sound system built into them. You've also got a bass boost, just the levels of the bass of intensity for bass sound. TV speakers, um, if you want to connect TV speakers, obviously you've got, your, you know, Dolby Atmos, Dolby HMRC, Dolby, Dolby, Dolby. And then you can reset it all if you want to. Then we can go back, then we've got network. This is connected via Wi-Fi because it's nice and hooked onto the wall, which works perfectly. You've got the advanced settings, which just shows you the Wi-Fi and the weather devices. Uh, you've got accessibility, audio description, all that amazing stuff. You've also got connected devices, which is your Sky Remote. Uh, you've got your parental settings, you also have your privacy, if you want the voice mic on or off. Uh, you've got start up and standby, so you've got enhanced experience. Brings your TV to life by turning this setting and also turns on network standby mode, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I would, I'm guessing these are the kind of settings you set and forget, I don't know. Um, it looks like it's got all the bits. Viewing preferences, autoplay, English setup favourite and system management. Uh, just showing you there that we're on entertainment 1.1 and all those amazing things that you want to see and of course then we can reset and update so that is the difference in the sky 
glass opposed to the Sky Q because it's built into the telly. You need all the settings to manage this TV. So let's talk a little bit about this picture on the telly. Let's find something. So these guys have actually got, um, friends of mine have actually got sports. So let's have a quick look at the sports. As you can see, you're not going to notice any difference between this and the, um, the uh, Sky Stream. Sorry, let me get back. Uh, where are we? Ba -ba -ba -ba. TV guide. I think they've got sport. Uh, let's go to an Ultra HD. And that's what Ultra HD looks like on this TV. It's a very clear and very, very bright picture. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you can see that. And let's just have a look at the sound quality. So yeah, the sound's really good. The picture's really good. Um, I don't think they've got movies on here. Um, let me just check. I think they've not got the movies. They've definitely got kids. Let's have a look at movies. I don't think they've got it. What happens if you haven't got it? Nope, so they don't subscribe to movies. Okay, so Sky Glass, um, you can see it's everything you need. Now, one thing I noticed um, that you can do on Sky Stream that I can't seem to do on Sky Glass. Let me just go into the TV guide. It'll probably do it now. So I want to scroll down by holding down so the control here. I'm going to hold down this bound button and then see if we can get that to um, scroll down quick. Yeah, okay, so it does do it. I was lying. <laughs> so it wouldn't do it earlier, but it is doing it now. So uh, MTV, let's have a look. Pitch quality. Yeah, there you go. So sky glass. Um, okay, so this is, you know, you guys wanted to see this. Basically, this is the sky stream. Um, this is the 55 inch TV as well, guys. Uh, so, you know, it's on the wall. It's clean. Um, it's got a quite a bit of thickness to it, um, and it is basically just Sky Stream, but in the TV. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. So, what did you think, Sky Glass? There's not much difference, in all fairness, to the little puck that I've got underneath there. Um, I don't know if having it in that big TV that it gives it. You know, sometimes you might just ever so slightly may get, mind you, say that, you know what? I haven't had any lag apart from ITV X player on the puck uh, since the updates. Not had that at all. Um, so, well, I was going to say maybe because it's in the TV, but to be fair, that's a lot of TV there. I think, uh, quote me, hit me up in the comments. I think the 55 inch um, is something like 17.99 a month, 17.95, 17 pounds 95 a month. So you kind of rent the TV and then you can upgrade it after two years. It's a bit like a mobile phone contract. Then you've got your Sky on top of that. And I think Jeremy said that they're paying about 100 pounds and they've got Sky Sports, but they don't have movies. 100 pounds, and I think they've got a couple of mobiles maybe on there that comes that equates to that bill as well. It's a lot of money still a month, but you do get a nice TV. So if you're in the market for a TV and you really don't know what to buy and you don't really want to go for something like what I've done, I've got a nice top of the range LG um, and you want to, you know, you're not fussed, you don't watch much TV. You know, the Sky TV looks nice. It's got a nice picture. Um, I don't know if it was, if it's something I would do. I personally like to, um, I mean, you know, I like a nice OLED TV. The TV's quite thick, I believe it's quite heavy. However, you saw it, it looked very neat and tidy on that wall. You know, you wouldn't notice the thickness of that TV while you're watching it. All the cables are hidden away. And of course, underneath, that's the only downside I can see is if you want to plug in external um, things such as a, maybe a Fire Stick or a Google TV or, a, you know, anything to HDMI or any of the sockets that are underneath it's underneath and to where that tv is you really got to get on your hands and knees look up and that's if you can squeeze it in so i don't know how that kind of works on the wall maybe i would have got a cable that came out with a little um, hdmi extender or something like that so it's I, I had easy access to plug things in and out of but other than that i think it looks really good seems like a nice tv 
there's, that's definitely an option. You know, if you go back in the days when uh, when I was growing up, you know, you certainly had um, like radio rentals and you know, rumbelows and things like that, where you could rent TVs. You didn't buy the TVs, you rented them. Uh, maybe that's a new thing. Who knows? Sky are definitely onto something. Um, and I liked it. it. You know, it's the same sort of menu. There's a lot more settings when it comes to picture. Um, did I find the picture quality good? Yeah, it was nice. Um, I think you know everyone's got different preferences to how they have their TV set up. So, okay, I know what you're waiting for. Shall we do the competition? Oh, guys, so if you watch this video, Apple TV, can it really replace Sky? If you subscribed, if you liked, and if you commented on this video, you could be the one that's going to win the new Apple TV 4K from Apple. I will send that out to you. So, let's not hesitate and wait around any longer. Let's do this. Let's go to the YouTube random comment picker. So this is a randomizer. It will go through all the comments and everything on that particular video because I'm going to paste the link. So let me just get that link. Click share and copy that link there. And we're going to go to the randomizer and we are going to paste that link. Oops. There we go. So I'm going to get fetch. Uh, include replies. No, we just want the comments. To make it very fair, anything goes. What else is there? No, okay. And we're going to continue. Wow, there were 76 comments on that video. So, let's see who wins the Apple TV. Are we ready, guys? Mark D. Uh, hi Steve, love the channel. I am moving into a new build next month. The question is, I have, I will need uh, an aerial install to get free view on my Apple TV 4K box, or does it come preloaded? Also, I can record from live TV. This will decide if I buy the Apple TV box or not. Keep up the good work. Well, Mark Dean, you don't have to buy the Apple TV because you've just won a new one. So please, Mark, if you can, make sure that you um bring uh send me or pm me your uh, address details i will get that apple tv sent out to you well done mark honestly mark i am so over the moon for you uh, and as well it's pick someone that was interested in apple tv that you know instead of buying it you've now won it so please don't forget you can pm me i am on instagram you can find me on twitter uh, and you obviously we you can go into the about on YouTube and you can find my email address in there Just message me your address details Matt. I will get on to Apple and get that sent to your address immediately So well done well done Mark for taking part But doesn't mean to say the rest of you are gonna lose out because guess what? Starting next month. I've got a new competition uh, Yes, that's correct. I've got a new competition now, what I want in this competition, I want you to hit me up in the comments on what you would like to win. Now, there are options. You have the choice of an Apple TV. You have the choice of an Amazon Cube. So you have the choice. So what I need you guys to do in the video that follows this one, I'll tell you more details on it. You need to hit me up in the comments. If you've watched this video to the end, tell me what one you would like to win. Would it be the Apple TV or would it be the Amazon Cube? You tell me, hit me up in the comments to show me that you've watched this video to the end. And until the next time, people, well done, Mark. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your amazing comments. Thank you for subscribing, liking and sharing these videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace.